shit without some type of discussion first. We discussed it earlier in the car. No, that was not a discussion. You just sprung a question on me, which in retrospect, I am much more amenable to than you trying to spring a finger in me. That was a finger, right? If you want me to eat your ass, I'll eat your ass. Never said I desired that. You never said you didn't either. Okay, well, I'm saying it now. And you still haven't yet to say if that was your finger or not. Of course it was my finger. Damn, yo, you got some big ass fingers. Yeah. Uh, I guess if we talk about bougie, see, we got to talk about some shit that ain't bougie. Uh, Gabrielle Union says, ladies, reciprocity is the key in 2017. Yeah. And if your man goes down to you and eats your butt, then you should be eating his butt. <laughs> wow. Gabrielle Union is like 50 years old. So, so? You know, yeah, them old women be freaks like that. So I understand. But I don't like the rhetoric she's out there spewing. What do you mean? Like, you see how she was like, whenever you choose to have your sexual, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what age is appropriate, but whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just make sure it's consistent. You don't need to be telling 15 year old girls they need to be out here giving head and shit like that. No, 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 no. Mm. No, that's not. That's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right, so are, are we still going with the trope that it's not okay for girls at 15, but it's okay for guys? Is that what we're still doing? I'm, I'm not saying it's okay for a boy at 15 to have sex. I think you're still too young. I think you should, you know, that, that, that you know, nah, man, because you don't know what you're doing. You, you're not making an educated uh, decision. You're making a decision off of fucking, uh, uh, um, you know, your, your hormones raging and you out there having sex, no condom. Next thing you know, you're a daddy at 16. You know what I'm saying? And so you're not educated enough to have sex at 15. That's boy or girl. So I'm not one of those like, oh, my son can do it, but my daughter can't. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So would, would the proper way to combat that be education? Yeah, that's what I just said. So, if, but if you're educated enough at 15... No, nah, you're, you're not. Be. You're not. You're not. No. So 15 sex... Year old. So, yeah, 15 year old, nah. Uh, unless your mom's a whore and your daddy's a, a pimp, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. If your mom and dad were porn stars, you might be educated. But 15, regular 15 year old has no clue. Has no clue. That's what, this that's, woman is thirty years old. Niggas thirty years old still don't know what to do. So why? Come on, sorry. Think of fifteen year old Saul Wright compared to Saul Wright today. Saul Wright fifteen, they had no clue. First time I had sex, nigga, I kept the condom on. I ain't know you're supposed to take it off. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why I was just like, I didn't know. I was but like, okay, so so to that, especially, did you have sex ed before then? Seventh grade. So I was 12 years old going through sex ed. Was you paying attention in sex ed or was you giggling? I was giggling because I was like, yo, I mean, look, look the craziest part about sex ed, man, this is the, the, what I remember the most. Uh, this dude named uh, Kevin Bleep, uh, he was talking about this girl named Candace Bleep, and he was just like, what's the average size breast? <laughs> and then the way, this is the way he said it, he said, I have a question. What's the average size breast for a 12 year old? And then the teacher was like, well, you know, it varies. He was like, but look at Candace. Hers are just so big. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 12. That, and we, like, that tickled us so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? To, I'm still thinking about that to this day. It was just so funny. <laughs> so that's why I said no. Not at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't have a problem with what she said. Because she's saying that she's not advocating for shit. She's that's yeah. not her place. She said that's not my place to tell anybody what age they should feel about sexual shit. So I, I give her props for that because it's a conversation that's being had, and she's like, "Hey, fuck out of here." That's not my place to tell you no shit like that. But what do you think about what she actually said? Oh, I mean, like I said, she a fifty year old woman, man. I mean, yo, 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 husband makes like you know he's a breadwinner. She didn't no, say him. Thing. She didn't say Dwayne. She probably no. That's not the first ass she didn't ate though. Is what I'm saying. I mean, that she's a cereal ass eater. So wait, now we're saying that Dwayne got his ass ate? Of course, Dwayne. Look at Dwayne Wade. That nigga got it. He gets his ass ate, bro. Come on, man. Why you doing that Dwayne like that, bro? Man, wear fitting pants with no socks, ankles that, out. Is he that, sit with his leg crossed with the. Come on, man. Dwayne that's, Wade. Man. That's the gets. ass eating outfit. Yes. Damn. <laughs> He's the ass-eating mascot. 
God damn. <laughs> so niggas out yeah, here in these you streets. Know, if you lined up 10 men and say, yo, which one of these men like the ass ate out? Dwayne Wade was in the line, you appoint to that nigga. <laughs> Is Dwayne Wayne winning or losing? I guess he's winning. I mean, he's not losing. I mean, you know, it's a fad to eat ass now. I mean, all the young kids talk about it. Like, you know, used to get shunned for it. Now these niggas be like, yo, I do that shit. Like, I, I just don't understand why niggas is like, you know, it's crazy. So, I mean, he's winning in the, in the ass of the ass eaters. <laughs> you going, if you're going to drink champs, Nori going to ask you, do you eat ass? Like, he asked every fucking guest, do you eat ass? And he said, just like <laughs> That's that's day. That's that's different. That's different. I don't. I I do feel like when I saw the interview, I was like, damn, she just kind of put Dwayne out there. Hey man, like, Dwayne don't care. I, I guess not. But but right after she said that, Dwayne asked to go to the bench. I'm just saying she broke his spirit a little bit. He went from starting to being, yeah, I just asked the coach if I could come off and be with the second team. Like damn, man, she done broke him down to the brake pads. It's over for Dwayne, man. I mean, hey, man, Dwayne, man, he an old nigga. I know, I know they clowning him in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? And then Dwayne Wade, old pink lip ass nigga, so, you know, he probably eat, eat ass anyway. But, it, like, can you clown him? Gabby is still his wife. Can you clown That's him fine. if Gabby is your wife? Are you being clowned? I mean, what's, oh, whoa, whoa. are we saying that, like, she's, like, top five, top ten? I'm not saying she's not, she's oh, top five, uh, top ten. I'm I saying mean, that she's dope as shit. She's finer than most of them niggas' wives, right? That's Chandler a safe LeBron. assumption. Chandler Ben, Chandler ben and LeBron wife. Let me look at LeBron wife. I don't know her name's Shawnee, right? I don't know what she looks her name like. Is Savannah. Savannah. See, I don't know. Let me see what LeBron wife looked like. Savannah Br- Breeson, Brisson, Brandon James. I guess she look older than uh, Gabby. At least in this picture, I'm looking at Savannah Brinson. Is that LeBron wife? I don't know her last name. I thought her name was Savannah James. No, nah, it says Savannah Brinson is all the ones that shows up. Okay, this is a really good picture. Yeah, she's pretty. She got a little Mary J. Blige vibe or some shit to her. She look normal. She don't look manufactured, no nose jobs like Gabrielle Union and stuff. Well, so you, Gabby looks manufactured? I mean, she didn't have some work done. I mean, you know. She's an actress in Hollywood. Ain't that par for the course? She's a little... She's a, C D level actress in Hollywood. Whoa. Okay. I guess. I mean her she... only gigs are in Steve Harvey movies. They don't be like, <laughs> let's be real. Every movie she's been in like Steve Harvey and you know <laughs> That's that, I think I think you're being a little harsh. I'm being truthful. Sorry, I've never said nothing as a lie. <laughs> like I think this is a little harsh. Come on, Miss. Right. She was 30 years old doing Bring It On. She was playing a high schooler. Come on, man. That that sounds like genetics. That sounds like a win. But that was like 20 years ago. Lorenz Tate has been playing a 14-year-old for 30 years. That's because he's short. They're all short. And Lorenz Tate played old dog. Classic, classic, classic. He old dog was also 16 and 17. And Lorenz Tate yeah, was 20-something then. You're right. And he was 20-something then. Like, he's always played a young nigga. It's genetics. I mean, but... I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm Dwayne. I'm worried about anybody clowning my wife as Gabrielle Union. I'm good. I'm good. But that ass eating part, you can't escape that one. Yeah. I, I, yeah. There's no there's no way we're showing up for practice and we ain't cracking a joke about you getting your ass ate, bro. Exactly, man. You can't come so, out the locker room without all of us with our feet in the air. Like, hey. hey. <laughs> so, how was your night last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Deezus and Meryl, they showed a snap of Dwayne Wade talking. There's a look at Gabby's face looking all greasy. She just got <laughs> <laughs> Like she just got done? Yeah, it was like her face just shining. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Hey, man, like I said, right after that, Dwayne was like, let me go ahead and come off the bench, coach. God mm-hmm. damn. Uh, Steph from B-More, um, one of my favorite tweeters, and she just say the wildest shit. Like that's what got the whole Gabrielle Union thing for me reading that shit. She said, "How you eat a man ass and he still cheat on you?" <laughs> she said, "Niggas is trash." <laughs> that's, hey, that's the conversation we had last week, right? Niggas is gonna do what niggas got to do. Yeah. <laughs> you eating ass like shit. Eating a man. Hey, yeah, you're right, man. That's new new rule, man. She eat your ass. You can't cheat on her, bro. <laughs> you got to draw the line at some point. You got to draw the line. <laughs> got to draw the line, man. She, like, you should feel bad if you fucking another broad. You're like, damn, 
I'm gonna come home <laughs> and she gonna eat my ass. You gotta, you should feel some kind of way. You gotta get a conviction in your soul if a girl is eating your ass and you uh, still go out and fucking other broad. Uh, God damn. I, I think I would leave. Mm. I think that if if the wife decided to, to eat the ass, she slide down there. I'm like, oh, this relationship is over. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is over, bro. That's that. Mm-mm. I just signed up for that one. This shit is over. <laughs> you apparently have no rules and no morals about yourself. This shit is over. I can't fuck with you. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> this, this shit is over, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> hey, and, and shout out to niggas who accidentally eat ass. It was a story that was passed along in the staff where that nigga said he accidentally ate ass, and I still remember crying. And that shit was, and then it was like random ass, like it was just like nigga. That shit was so. Not no relationship, no, no. It just, he was like, I don't know why, I just started eating the ass. I was like, nigga, <laughs> I laughed so fucking hard when I, I said, wait a minute, wait, wait, what? And then it just fucking happened. I was just eating the ass. <laughs> this is the part you put on YouTube, dude. This is whole, nothing. from the man love. <laughs> They lost. Number one, if she eat your ass, you can't cheat. You either got to leave or you commit it. Yeah. It. yeah. Number two, long. ain't no accidental ass eating. You do that yeah, shit on purpose. Eat ass. Nah, you do you that shit on purpose. You know what that purpose. is? That's an ass. Nah, fuck that. You know what it is? What'd she say? It's all close together. Nah, <laughs> nigga. You slide it. Nah, nah, man. Nah, you got about half an inch of inch of space to work with <laughs> to know that you 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 going down that path. You know what I'm saying? You going the ass like the music changes. You start going towards the ass. The temperature know, changes. I mean, the music changes. It's it's different. <laughs> Nappyafro.com